Hey guys, it's Man Man Dragon Knight playing Phoenix Wright, as you probably can see. So yeah. We're uh, I don't know where actually where we left off, only that our uh, Well our friend got arrested again. So yeah, it's not quite as fun again that we have to save her once again. Also I'm uh, Except this time She's been accused of, uh, Being of a murder through possession. That's an interesting twist on it. Yeah. By the way, there was Justin, guys, and Shiver is also with us. Hello. I'm not sure if we did this li uh, line with her, but uh, we will find out. Because we're just going to see where we left off with everything. I have to get my guide ready, so I know what I'm going for. I know what's going on here, but I won't tell. That's nice. I uh, have some guys with suspicious, of course, that's why. I see. Uh, where is it? Okay, there we go. Huh? Didn't we do this part? <laughs> Which day were we on? Um, part 3. Okay, so I'm still in part 3. Investigation. Okay, I have to really check everything out what we got. Okay, so we got the ball. Re re reacquaint yourself with what's been happening, huh? <laughs> yeah. We have the box, we have the ball, we have the face. Okay, uh -huh. I got what we need to do now. Ah, uh, but honestly, I tell ya. That granny sure got her bloomers in her knot. Well, I guess you could have put it in that way. It always start out small, you know. Stealing the master seed and controlling the village folk. <laughs> and now, uh, see what's had to run into? A murder? That's what? Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on! What? The stuff you were just saying about that's the first I heard of it. Huh? Really? Well, that's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up to the ghost bed while I'm busy with saving people. You say something about stealing the master's seat. Yup. Right now, the master is the medium named Misty Fay, but the one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was set up to become supposed to become ma the master. Do you know where Eni is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not the long ago. She's hanging around in the garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah, I got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. So I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter? The eldest daughter? Turns out that old bad is a Missy Space older sister. Oh. They say the older sister is usually the one with the most spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Maya, Mia's powers lightly. Well, anyway. So, uh, Granny, they lost the younger sister, Misty. I see. The ma this made the dance walk turn against her. So I hear I said all shorter things too like She's the oldest and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. 
Wow, I had no idea. So what should have happened if Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would be the branch family, I reckon. Hmm. Team is winning outside. Weird. It was not there by the sleeping uh, era, right? I have what to. What, what if it was uh, behind the challenging chamber by the thing? I don't know. I was just checking. June 21, Femina. Winding day. Hmm. Like I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. I think I have enough uh, to finally unlock our secret. Like? What's what? That scary look on your face? Traffic accident. Oh no, I got it. Okay. Um, about the accident, Ini. Like, you're not totally not gonna give up, are you? No, I'm not. I totally want to forget about my sister, you know, and to move on and all that. Guess I have no choice to remove those locks. Traffic accident. Huh? Like whose accident? Your sister's accident, actually, naturally. Oh, um, oh, yeah. So, like. Uh, Dr. Grega, meet my sister fall asleep. Like that's all I have to say about that. Hmm, interesting. And he just has Kahoo's accident, which means she must know something about the other person's accident. Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Oh, not a person's accident, like you got someone in mind. I want you to ask about your own car accident. Me? Yes. So, wow, like, yeah, strange, I have like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you like, prove I was in, like, an accident? Papers of, uh, a of Or that, can also. Will you, like, take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from a year ago. It says, Miss Innie May holds the interview about a crash. <laughs> you suffered a very bad injury and had to admit to the hospital, right? Like, wait. What now? It's not me. Huh? You mean like this person has like the same name? This is totally not me. My name in Hermione is pretty, like, pretty common. Uh, mm -hmm. not really. What in the world are you babbling about? 
My sister's name is Mini Miney. It's in here too. Like totally, wow, what a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting like goosebumps. I think I'm gonna let you get away with that. Like now what? Like, do you have something that I totally would say I was ho hospitalized? This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I don't want to do a jump to guns. I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. Also? There's a certain patient there, and he's quite a fan. He has momentum of your stay, you stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fade director! There we go. Are you ready to tell me about the accent? Like, wait a second. So, like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's, like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says, one of the women's woman died, correct? Yeah. Okay, I didn't hear for some reason. I'm still here. The woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? <laughs> do you suppose the mean woman who died in the accident could be? <laughs> I believe it was your sister, Minnie Miney. You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accent occurred, making one and the same. And broke the chain of captivity. <laughs> oh, lol. Yeah, he was riding. Riding in a car with my sister. We were like on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. The time I grabbed for my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I like couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke, I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. What if she swapped with her uh, sister's ID? Yeah, I feel it's a fake. Because, of course, um, her sister, uh, the real Ini, got burnt alive. Well, she was also burnt, and that's why she is hospitalized. Yeah, and that sounds like that, total sense. That, and that's why she actually swapped so she could revenge on Dr. Gray. Yeah. I think Dr. Grey really caused that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills. Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did to, like, pay my sisters back. Hmm, I wonder. Does this e give me any a good reason to murder <laughs> Dr. Grey? Huh? 
It seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But I wouldn't be very hard to catch me, actually. I'd say impossible. What? I think you got the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of a humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> uh, okay. I see what she's up to. She does. She doesn't want to tell uh, tell you how she did it. Yeah. June twenty one, Green Village. Huh? Looks some things up. Help! Help! Leave my mother alone. Uh, I think this was yours, bro. Was it? Or I thought you were going to continue it? Well, you yeah. took his because uh, you had, didn't have so much uh, rolls at the moment. Right. Uh, ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Well, dear, it's perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while while this young man... Please let me go too! No, you must sing here, I'll protect the manor. But... Oh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look, it's a real pistol. This. Do not upset me, upset me further. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe being dragged off by the ear like the death by Morgan. Ow. <laughs> there. Uh. This has never happened before. Pearls. I have a really bad feeling this can shake. I think something very really bad is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix. Anything. Sheesh, I'm terrible at this. Mr. Nick, what about... What about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think we gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must be all well alone. Okay, okay, calm down. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone either. Please, Mrs. Maya needs you by her side. You by your side. Her stare is really piercing. <laughs> okay, the danger center, here we come. June 21, 6.38 p.m. Detention Center, Visitor's Room. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia. So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Never Meyer has found guilty or innocent. It's a heavy way to bear. Hmm? If memory serves, Maya has a few psychologs on her own. Mia, I'm ready to unlock those last pieces of information I need now. Sure. I welcome you to try. Okay, well, here we go. Come on, Phoenix. We don't have time to be looking at things like this. We need to find out everything we can for the trail tomorrow. But I tried to present you! <sighs> okay, fine. Mia. <laughs> yes? Yeah, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean... Huh? 
lock and chain. Don't look at those boots. Why do you think so? It's really uh, times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah, a battle of wits against me. I Ooh. There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trail tomorrow. You mean like how the real murder got into the room and killed Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means the murderer had already got gone in that room before the channeling. That's what I think in any case. But Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in the air. That's true. But we can't figure out when the murderer's movements were stuck like a branched whale. Hmm. I never thought I'd see this day. You are actually asking me about spirit channeling? This case is all about the spirit challenging. I feel that I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, right, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power of to change your physical appearance into the person you're calling. Oh. What's the thing which our ancestor, Mystic Aling Fei, acquired? I heard that name before. The Fei family was originally a family known as a service for, to the gods. When Mystic Ami was born, she was given to a certain fame to her name. Because you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism. Um... Vita Bah. To this day, her soul is still sealed in a Korean sacred urn. It's usually set in a winning way and has her name written on it. Um, yeah. Oh, come on, Phoenix. This is just a fairy tale. Are you saying that me uh, to be able to see is just a fairy tale, too? Okay. Now we're presented. The murder. Phoenix. I think I'm hiding information about someone from you, isn't that right? Yes. All right then. Tell me who you think I'm protecting. Um De Um, I think you're trying to protect the this person. Nix, don't let me down like this. I... I'm sorry. Maya's life is on the line. Concentrate harder. I... What? Oh, okay. A minute more. So, below. have you gathered your thoughts? Alright then, tell me who you think I'm protecting. Morgan Faye, of course. There's no one else you could protect like this, Maya. Well done, but... When the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion into my aunt. Now we bring it to this. The proof is this piece of cloth. Mm. I found it in a near windy way. It's the same material as my house custom, except for the scrap of blood. You mean it's from my house custom that she was wearing at the time of the murder? Yes. But when Maya was arrested. She was wearing her costume. 
That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes? But why? I don't know why. But there's only one person who have done it. The one person who was sucking care of Maya, my aunt. What's that? What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? You have no proof that this piece of cloth is actually from Maya's costume. But there's blood. And do you know whose blood at this point in time you don't, do you? Do you have any proof that piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? Alrighty. I think it's this is the proof you're looking for. The key of the channeling chamber, huh? At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had the possession of this key. And yet somehow it's magically ended up in the accelerator in the center garden. You're right. And this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling. The key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both this key and the piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that the piece of cloth was a part of Maya's costume. It would certainly seem that way. Someone changed her into the different set of clothes. And then burned the costumes he was wearing in this incinerator. There's only one person who have could done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya, my aunt. Exactly. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yes, he was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have the present sort of proof of this for me. But I want to know, if my aunt was the culprit, then how did some commit the murder? How did she... How... She did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my uncle to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? Eeny meeny. She has the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny meeny were in cahoots. That was actually my line, but eh. We're in cahoots. So they're working together, so she will be the headmaster? Oh my god. Yep. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about Fae Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out, out how it was done. Box. We can assume that Ivy Mining is involved somehow. Oh, we have one pro oh, big problem in, on our hands. A problem? Which what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? Also, we don't really know how to sure that she was cooperating with Ingi. <clears throat> Maya doesn't have a clue either, huh? Then there's the only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it? in such a underhanded fashion. Hmm, because... Mother. 
she is the one who holds the key to this. Mother? Whose? Mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course! Misty Faye! Mia Maya's mother. Why would she bring her up now? Now then. We gathered everything we could. We all have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become a part. Then. Right, Chief. We won't lose. How did she die anyway? I don't know. Save and lock, save and lock, save, save, save and lock. Save the game? Yes. Save station, save station, gotta save station. Save station, activate. Save station. Well, time for the trial, right, bro? Yep. Oh damn, I was thinking it was a short one, but uh, okay. <clears throat> June 22, 9.51 a.m. This strict court defendant lobby number three. Ladies and gentlemen, this is mumbo number three. <laughs> we are with free people. Uh... <laughs> Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, uh, I'm sure she had felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I am the suspect in the murder trail. Um, but I think you're real strong too, Maya, for all you have gone through. Good morning! The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly! You be safe today, Mystic Maya! Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support! Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly! Hey, Pearls! Oh, wait. It's your line. <laughs> I'll get my mouth for a moment, so I like. Shira, do you know? <laughs> hey, pearls. Hey, pearls. <laughs> Play me. Hey, pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick. <laughs> uh, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you ch chill on Maya today? Huh? I was sure of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I've don't feel that confident enough without her help. Nick, that's enough! And show weakness in front of a person you love. But probably not this again! <laughs> oh. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later then. I leave you two to the all your alone time. Phew, thank goodness. Nick. This way Pearls won't be able to see to the last trial. What do you mean? What's going on? I think he wants Pearls to be stay out of uh, the picture so she doesn't see all, see what X is going on. <laughs> June 22, 10 a.m. Discord count, court norm number two. But we're with free. <laughs> yeah.
Uh, so what do you tell us about why Phoenix actually asked uh, Pearls to swap with Mia? Because Pearl is stronger. With the challenge. I know. Yeah, Pearl has that ancestor power. Yeah, but I think there's another reason for it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, there she's standing. The court is now in session for the trial of my FA. The finish is you ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix White, I look forward to tonight's new with great joy. Imagine if you would have been a face when you transmitted all over the world. <laughs> all over the world, huh? Sounds like you make quite a name up for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish. You're foolish. You're all fool wearing those foolish and foolish clothes. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. <laughs> five! Stop being really foolish, like that that lot, foolish woman! <laughs> Her favorite name was the foolish. The foolishness. The famous one is me. <laughs> I underpredictly was never lost the key since becoming a persecutor five years ago. Wait, we'll if she was, that, that means she had the age of thirteen. Then we shall kick you after your own fun, Kalva! Not to win the world's eyes are on me, as I conduct my first trail on this country. Oh, that's nice, Miss Fun Karma. <laughs> Glad to see you are such a good person in this fit. Uh, it's true what they say. Women's are really scary when they fight. Boop. Oh, we really do. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's se session. Now the defendant could have left the challenge chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is the proof of that. This key is the only key to the challenge chamber was not where it's supposed to have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Uh, Alright, let's hear it. Again? The persecution has determined from that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest. The defendant did indeed leave the room at the one point. What? Are you sure about that? But Miss Von Karma? That... Then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying that the, the person in this picture is not the defendant? Never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I am seeing is that Maya Fee, after killing the victim, Zyla room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. I don't think so, but... yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Can you sustain the... your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The persecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fee, to the stand. Just I, as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia, she seems really torn by this. Hmm. Witness, name and corroboration. Uh, why do you have your brother's eyes? Oh. My name is Morgan Fee. And I'm the spirit medium on the matter of speaking. I'm sorry, Ooh. but what do you mean in matter of speaking? Ah! I don't 
think anyone really cares. Oh, murder. After the murder took place, you can watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I prefer all the spirits, serving technique of Mr. Fire, then. Spirit surfing technique? Oh, the technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world, that is. Yes, that is. Ah! You! Be quiet! <laughs> now, witness. Something happened while you performed this technique, correct? Yes, it is correct. What in the world could have? She escaped. She escaped from the room. Huh? Hold I'm... your horses! Hold your horses! <laughs> Hold the brakes! How did she left the room while we were waiting? If I recall correctly, we were waiting in the waiting room. Weren't we? Yes. So yes. how can she escape if she has only one door? There's a back Someone. door. There's a back door underneath. I believe so too. Then. Know. Yeah, in, ja in Japanese um, houses, there's always something underneath room to escape with. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, let's see what she has to say. Wh what? Oh, 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 oh. And here we come to the heart of mana. Maya Faye, while in possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order! Miss Faye, please testify to the court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the aunt to this trail. <laughs> okay, let's hear a testimony. Hear the gunshots. Though two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and her older lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Miss Sigmaya's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. I have no knowledge of where she went after that. But she was back in a room at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's raining outside. Yeah, it is. Holy shit. Why do you hit in this until now? I, I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. But you just did! Uh, however, I must correct false sights when they arise. That's right. She's simply correcting my false city, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why is she making a point to take a step at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, you're across the main station, please. My aunt is very smart and a sly person. Okay, why do you all feel saying Sly Cooper? Sly Cooper, you are qualified for thieves. At your service. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. I already found a few. And even with the guide I have, I found it already. Yeah. <laughs> After we hear the gunshots, I smoke Mr. Oh, Wright and old lady. Was it really necessary to have people to something so easy as call the police? 
there was a possibility of an escape then one of us should have stayed behind mm, yes that's a very good point I, I myself was a little confused on top of which there was another what another what madam Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. Question further. There was another reason you wanted us both of us out of that room, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for... There will be more victims. Huh? You bought the last of good and good, so the camera woman may be in danger. It's what I taught to myself. Well, that's very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and her bad ones. On us, of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my, that's my own for you. Are you testifying now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please go to you. A piece almost hanging. <laughs> During our investigation, you stated there that you struck the defendant on the head. And the strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I do not. The way I gave you was a lie. Huh? But but why do you lie about something like that? Be careful for me to say this, however. Objection. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya. So why were you covering for the defendant? Well, yes, it was only later that I was informed of what I had occurred. That originally, Mystic Maya has done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What? Pray tell, did she... Oh! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unsuspected thing was, it was always later. Yes, very well. Uh, why did it suddenly look... Feels like there is a rock in the pit of my stomach. Look, 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 look. Now witness, continue with what happened. Uh, um, was it really that easy for you for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing, however, yes. But you're physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten all that, Mr. Fooling Dwight? What about this picture? For one more all the time, the defendant was not specifically my affair. It was in the middle. Hmm. Growing old in such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know it firsthand. Basically, Mr. Maya's body was still in that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away when. He... Will you have give a chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... And we press here... <laughs> Is it because you were unconscious? Well, I guess! Wait, well, now what? Question further. So while you were unconscious, you obviously no idea where the defendant went. I 
wouldn't think it's obvious, good sir. That's true. Then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I will have I have to wonder myself. Pardon me. It's true that his witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve, that's what. It looks like Miss Fontana is ready to move on her next witness. That's enough! From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness testimony. And from what she said, we can establish that Maya Faye did left the cha chamber. <laughs> chamber. <laughs> I hope I, this is... This isn't going back and bite us in the butt. These butts. But, 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 no buts. No, let's stick to that next logical step and ask. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. yes, yes. Looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Be quiet, you. No, man. What the SKP had done, she had gone to speak with a certain person. She went to speak with a certain someone? Uh, who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Edie Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Mm, Miney? I think you can see where this is headed. Witness, name and cop or corporation. Um, okay, so my name is like Amy Miney. I'm like researching like this uh, arts of philosophy stuff at the time. Um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like I guess most people call it a cult stuff. Even if that's the most people call it, I can't say uh, I understand what that means. It's because you need to go home and research it yourself. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> After the murder took place, you spoke with Revenant Maya B. Is that correct? Oh, uh, well, um, like I guess. <laughs> I didn't press, to be honest. In that case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it? Your honor? Yes, sir. I think he feels he feel like, like he's still between his legs, like... <laughs> For the love of things... <laughs> All things good, Yarny. You have some spot, have some spine for my sake. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is going weird, really weird. He is a bit of a cattle, isn't he? When the yeah. channeling started, I was like sleeping in the side room. Like a little later, someone came into the room, like really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, to totally my sister. And like, I haven't seen her in like so long. I was so happy in like a sad way. My sister, she like told me something like today terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant Maya Fay? Really no, Your Honor. Maya Fay was 
still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was was the spirit of this witness sister? Yes, Mimi Money. She was the nurse at Doctor Gray's clinic. Oh well, this is witness. Like yeah. In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell me in the, in the court that one this terrible thing was? I'm sure we love to hear about it. I'm like, do I totally like really have to? Of course. Miss Miney, <laughs> please. Uh -huh. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Ini? Mm -hmm. She took her revenge? Are you sure that's what she said? Y yes! There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that the spirit would go so far to use a meme to get revenge. It's a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point at this as a truth. No, it's a lie. The end. What do you think, well, Mr. Wright? Is there a certain seems like all those loose ends are occurred for? This this testimony just now was was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was Phoenix. Yeah, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but it's all it is. But even the most well spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find the one loose threat and invite the step for sea of lies. That's actually a lie. Yeah, I feel like it's a legit lie. What do you think, you know, bro? You actually didn't saw too. who was sleeping. Perhaps it was um, Mystic Maya that was sleeping yeah. with the sleep with the sleeping pills. So she swapped. Perhaps it this would make sense. Yeah. yeah, and then swap bodies, so she was asleep. Yeah, it feels all too well built, too well. So mystic, so mystic Maya was drugged. Yeah, your honor, there is room for doubt. So the defendants will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. You're again a foolish fool, spat out more foolish, foolish trouble for. I wonder if you could make this one more entertaining than the last. Oh, we definitely will. Because we will break your record! <laughs> we gotta kick you off the throne! <laughs> so we have to press number four. And that's this one. You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like I mean, it was my sister! But one of the most people react here, like surprised seeing it left the one alive again? Uh, but like maybe if I was like somebody who didn't know about like can a girl? I like to know about the Korean channeling technique. The point here is that the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. 
Hmm, she, should I drop this line of questioning? Question further. Would you really think, didn't think uh, uh, anything strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me like think anything was strange. But... Ah! Don't keep bothering her. <laughs> You know the phrase, objection. Could you try using that once in a while? Mm, Mr. <laughs> Wright? The question of the witness felt like she saw her sister. Is it really that important? It's really a bump. It's a bump, you would honor. It's very important, although I have not quite figured out what it is yet. But I have got up to buff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. We're gonna bluff it! Alright, Mr. Wright, Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> And now we press again. So there was nothing odd about all about your sister's appearance. Like yeah, nothing was like weird. Hmm. Uh. Okay, that was weird. It was somehow like when we were Having an inside talk, it was like she was talking, like her. Hmm? Why is mm. talking out to herself like she done something wrong? That's impossible. Hmm? Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? Ah, uh, my sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. Wasn't like scared at all and like her cousin looked totally like normal. Uh-uh. Objection! Objection, your honor! That's very well spun lie, Miss Eeny. Huh? What are you babbling about? This time, Mr. Phoenix, right? It's very, it's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines, now, are we, Phoenix? <laughs> 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 Ooh! Miss Mighty, may I remind you of what you said? You said there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and... <clears throat> I don't think that what you, s you were thinking of... But, but I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of your sister you met. I think that even you should be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. <laughs> the blood spray? Miss Money? Why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you should have noted that right off the bat. <laughs> Got her again! Order, order, Miss Money, what is the meaning of this? Miss Money? I'm thinking! Don't interrupt me! Did you saw our eyes? Yeah! To be honest, it looks very, very close Sorry. to hers. Yeah. I think that's why she has most time her eyes closed. What do you think, bro? I think you might be right. Yeah, it felt all too convenient. All too well. Yeah. 
Um, that's... <gasps> and what are you stuffing about, your honor? Um, um, well, I... I uh... The witness. The personality did complete 180 dare. Um, 180? Okay. Interesting. Lots of people do people. that when they get on the stand, though. Mm. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry. I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Uh, the judge still looks like he's taking up a lot of help. A lot of help he is going to be. Somebody give him a milkshake, please. <laughs> <laughs> I have to side from us like tiny dog, you know. OBJECTION! Yeah, what were I supposed to say then, huh? It feels way, way too well for a lie. Underwear. Side room? Kinda dark? How? Literally, how? He has a point. It was clear as day. So like, like the skin is like purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I like persecute my sister. It wasn't like that, right? To do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you test satisfied, Mr. Wright? Alright, I guess not. Very well, you might question the witness. <laughs> a one and a two. And what was your sister? This me miny look like at the time. Well, she was like totally flipped out because she. Just stop, Dr. Gray. But I think she knew she like that she did something really bad. <coughs> she said that wanted to go with me to like apologize to Miss Morgan. And Mimi's spirits really say all that to you? Like yeah. Like, oh, know. toy. <laughs> yeah. Like, what if? Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. Like, to feel a lot better, too. Mr. Phoenix, right? The sooner, the better. She's seeing the with her whip at a ready like miss morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber you know may i ask you one more thing miss meanie like sure was there anything you found strange unusual or just out of place something out of place huh? like when did like when do you mean huh, huh? when what oh uh, okay Going to. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Ah. <clears throat> like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. No, now what? 
Tim Carter, you know you can remember something. I like totally can. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Miss Wright, that we're or not there was something odd on the way to the challenge chamber? Is that important? It's very important. I asked because it's very important. I thought I know where, where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Money, if you please, if you will please include the st statement about this in your testimony. Like I don't get why, but okay. Okay. And I didn't see anyone in the way to like the channeling chamber. May I, my dear Watsons? Go ahead. Shira? May I? I said yes. Objection, Objection please. <laughs> I found this. And the fault, or I guess in your case, the the crack in your perfect lie. Oh. Take a look at this urn. Like urn? There are cracks. Don't you see them? So like what does that prove? <sighs> Who cares about some worn out old urn? Like, yeah! I already like said I didn't see like anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. Didn't I totally say anything about like an urn, did I? It looked like you still don't understand. I suppose that you had been really walking around the winning way all the, at that time. There was no way you could have seen this person. Pearly. Uh, let me double check. Oh, let's just go for Pearly. I'd like to introduce you someone to you. This is Morgan Faye's daughter, Pearl Faye. Uh, yes, how could this child be relevant? It just so happens that at the, the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in a, a center garden. Oh. And she just happened to break this urn. Oh. Oh! Wait, she broke the urn? Yep, she accidentally knocked it over with her ball. And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting in right in the middle of the windy way. Whoa! <laughs> Ghost! <laughs> who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> 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 Miss Money. Pearl was there in the windy way at the time. It was hard to at work putting the pieces on the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see the while you were walking, I have to declare you're legally blind. I think we have suffocated proof. One thing, Miss Money. You're a masterful liar. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I need you to watch what you're saying. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness. Miss Miney, tell us the truth. But what? 
about what? About where you were really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. Wow, she used objection? She just used it? Yeah, she did. She didn't use she her whip? What, she knows no. what objection means then. <laughs> yeah. That's the right. I work like sleeping in the side room. Can I really be here for, believe her? Was she really asleep in the side room? There is no Wait. The lies ends here. What do you do? When it says during the actual murders, he was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not impossible because there is a clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? Help me, Mia. Early in your testimony, Manny, you say you made the following statement. And that Miss Morgan was the only one that challenged him, you know? It's true that at the time, both me and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to, to call the police. So, like, what does it like have to do with anything? Do you notice that <laughs> single glimpse? Yeah. I think she's been rebuilt as her. Yeah, swap personalities, took her ID. Yeah. It's very simple. Miss Miney. How did you know that fact? Uh, how? I can tell Miss Faye was the only person in the ch chilling chamber. However, someone was asleep in the side room. Couldn't have known that. Which means, Ma Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the chilling chamber. But you didn't go there by the windy way. But look at the miners' guard map. There were no. If one were to go between the side chamber and the channeling chamber, one should have used the windy way. That's right, Your Honor. Which is why, is why I asked this very important question. Where was this witness at the time of the murderer? <laughs> Miss Miney, please answer the question. Oh, uh, she knows. Uh, uh. She knows the word again. Don't ask a question of a blameless assumption, if you please. Huh? I'm not supposed to use your pattern on the table, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh, she got her way back. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder in a box? Not your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray is Amy Miney. So now is the time to prove it. Enter a box. Now then, Mr. Okay. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was this witness when the murder took place? I have to say more? No. And a one, and a two, and a three. Bam! Miss Money was here, of course. What? But the, 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 that's the challenge chamber. This isn't the. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Money was at the scene of cr the crime. Order, order, order. That's why what that is. Oh! Right. Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, that, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Miss White. Hiding in a box. Simply, Miss Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I, I was. 
was hiding? Where did that guy was hiding? Here, of course. Behind the folding screen? Ah! Don't make me say this again. Look at yesterday's testimony. There are no way anyone could hang in a blind folding screen. See? You stupid jerk! She is oh. tearing apart her. She is her. Yeah. It looks too. It is her. It's gotta be. No, she, I think. You stupid jerk. Yeah, well, like, take a good look at the eyes. Yeah, it is her. her. Are they brown or are they gray? It's hard to tell. Being so freaking bitter to me, slime ball! No, no, Miss Miney, one as young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps. As if I know exactly how old I am. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like the pipes are about to burst. Guess I should help it along. Uh, <laughs> 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 We're out of the story totally change. He's totally changed. Box, 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 box. Get the uh, box. If I can find the box. There I is. Money. Clothing box. Miss Money, how you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Sorry, but the theory has already been disproved. Well, it disproved when you're when she was hiding from me in it. But that floating lock was in the side room, right? With me, there's nothing to do with the mother after all. Sorry, I'm gonna do a personal objection. When we started this case and we were checking the side room, there was no clothing buff at first. That's true. <laughs> I know way too well. Yeah. Th th that's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing buff was there in the side room the whole time. Sure. Are you sure about that? And my grandma is also my f my daughter. Sure. Hmm, Mr. Wright? Do you think you can prove there where the clothing bottle was at the time? Yes. And now I present a piece of evidence that will prove this coffin box was at the scene of the crime that took place. Take, Take a look the co at this coffin box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. Huh? This? What on earth? Oh! I don't have time for you to sit there so press hurry up and say it already! There's a hole! About eight inches off the ground! Hmm, mm. the hole about eight inches in ground. Where have you heard of that before? <laughs> but that falling screen, I had the hole the same height? That's right, I hope that this has opened your eyes to what happened at the time of the shooting the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen which why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen went through the screen and then in the box 
Miss Miney? You were hiding behind the fallen screen waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Oh, I couldn't say anything. Damn, Mr. Phoenix, right? What about this big? Are you saying the person in this photo? It's Miss Eeny Miney! That's exactly what I'm saying. Miss Eeny Miney, you were hiding inside the box, box all along. And you were in a medium cost in that masquerade as Maya Faye. To masquerade Maya Faye? She had a plan from the very beginning. She kill, would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No! Stop! I can't stand to listen to this anymore of this foolishness! In that case, Mr. Phoenix Red, then I have a pro position. This whole idea that a witness moved a clothing box through the crime scene, put on it to be defended, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime? It is not possible for one person to do it all by herself. Nothing is impossible. Correct. That's, it's not impossible. That's not possible. It really is impossible for one to do that all the preparation that is. Ah! Need I remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. Wait, Miss Funkama, you said it, there was no possibility for one person, correct? Uh, what? You can be serious. <sighs> 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 Miss Money? You had an accomplice. Hate to bring it. <laughs> this person! If it wasn't someone from the Korean village, you couldn't ha have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fea household, who could. wouldn't have that box to use? More than Fea? Isn't that a one? Is that a wonderful witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Mini? <laughs> you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? Nice. I think that is all really happened. The murder had planted herself at the scene of the cr crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium costume wearing a wig, she could pretend to be the defendant. And then the time of the Chang chamber started. The murder creeped silently towards the other. Two of the who had their eyes closed. First, she dragged Maya with some strong sweeping agent. Then she stabbed Gray, Gray with a knife. Next, she hired the client inside the clothing box. She did. She did that to could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that is when something unexpected happened. Uh, unexpected? Yes. Like the Grey actually is not dead yet. With the last of his breath strength, he fired a shot at the, his attacker. And that's why the hole in the falling screen was so low to the ground. Murder then took the gun from the, the Grey and. After that, you and the other lady thought to break in the room. 
Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why uh, upon hearing the gun the shots we were forced our way into the channeling chamber. It's money, she immediately covered her own co costume with blood. And pretend to, to be Maya Fey. But that sort of description would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely what Morgan Fey chased us out. Please, leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry, before there are two victims, more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. Uh, who's laughing? Who is that laughing at the time uh, like this? Oh, you supplement fool. I'm sorry, are you still by your chance of falling? What? What is it this time? MMS for karma, surely. Of course, it was me. You might think somebody from karma blood would lose do or something this pretty. What in the world? Mr. Phoenix, right. You all can just flood in every crucial area. And that is. <laughs> if this witness is a real murder, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Walking together with a medium pretending to be the one putting on this whole act. What reason? Would she have to do such foolish things? Uh, well, that, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. And there's another thing. Why would Miss Inimani do want to go that way? What is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say to you. Yeah, motivate. I don't have a motivate. A motivation. That's... I can't say she has no motivation here. I have to think of, of a motivation now. That's where... Is where her reason for wa wanting Dr. Grey dead. She's sick of hers. Huh? Just as I thought, you bore me with your silly answer for me, it's red. Just great. Now even she is claiming me to be a, by my full name. You think did that again? Revenge for my sister's death? Um, uh, no. Yes. Just through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray dragged my sister, right? You want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Sounds like stupid grams. I'm like was going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It was a half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If, like, wanted revenge, then I wouldn't have waited this long. Oof. Oof. Um, and sides like, the guy that thought of spirit thing was, like, Dr. Grey. It was, like, a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know?
You are a smelling very fishy woman. Very fishy. I mean, not because I eat fish. Coward. She's back to her air persona. Wait, are we not playing persona? Ah! Pathetic Mr. Punix White. You failed to support your own theory. Ta da! The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix White. Let me uh, say it is very true. Her French plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to have co cooperated with this plan. You don't even have any decision pieces of the evidence. Do you say your point? This takes so many faults, Mr. Phoenix White. You should really learn your case. We're gonna continue this, even though, like, we're over time, we're gonna! I feel like very close. Yeah. Very close to the end! Yeah. What happened? I thought I had her for sure. <laughs> See, like it was just as I... Like I told you. I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. What did she say before? She said that line before. She was trying to get us back, and now she thinks she got us, but... Sorry. We're smarter. We, have we are the truck store sleeve. Very well, I now conclude the customization of Miss Miney Miney. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, please, allow me to defense one more minute. All right. You can lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Mm-hmm. Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason why she had to kill Dr. Gray. Yes. And it's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Huh. Time is up, Mr. Wright. A final answer, please. If you want to say that it can be proved Mini Mini had a motive, then why did she kill the victim this way? Can you prove this reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Uh, yes, we can. Yes, I'm, you can. I'm not totally confident here, but I know what I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show you the substance the fact of in Miss Miney had a motive. Too bad, you're too late. My cross-explanation has already ended after all. <laughs> Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Miss Phoenix Bright. What? You're supposed to be on my side! Ah! Um, Volcanoma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will mark you down, Mr. Phoenix, alright? And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me! I will throw you out of my way. No way! Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We will call to you the cross area after we were voting. Hey, wait a second! Nope. Uh, DENIED! No. <laughs> Access denied! Yes, we will save. Saving, please wait.
June 22, 12.4 p.m. This would call Defendant Lobby number three. Now we are free. It is really true about my aunt. I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Ini could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. I'm the saying that there's no one else other than your aunt Morgan. That that's terrible. Why? Why will my aunt? He's going to just as predicted, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh, it's her. Oh. It's Maya that's saying that. Ah! It's from Gahama! Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad! And you have something bad to be worrying about. Say, your own situation? Huh? Looking down on me even to if you were the same age? Are you, Are you done? Uh, that's no. my line. <laughs> Are you done yet? You caused me enough pain and suffering. <laughs> Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring you back. Bring your father back. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to a conclusion. And then we will know who the real winner is. <sighs> okay. Indeed, you don't know about what happened here in the courtyard. Indeed. Well, here we go. Court number two. <laughs> The court will now revise. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Ms. Anime had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. You might know Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. That's with the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Ms. Mani, please testify this to your court about your car accident last year. I thought like you wanted to like to ask about my like motive. I like don't see the point in like bringing up the past. Miss Money, if you please. No, okay, okay. Like I totally don't think that could any do, but. That was like last year in May. Like more something really bad had happened at like my sister's clinic around then. And like the night of the accident, my sister was totally tired while she was driving. Boom. She was driving. She said it before. So I was like totally pooped too. So I like fell asleep in the passenger seat. I like woke up close of the jewel and like it was a sea of flames around me. I like opened the door and like got away. Hmm, I think I have he heard of this incident. It was all the talk on the tabloid show day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray darkening your sister. Ah! Those were merely rumors, totally baseless gossip. Hmm, yes, Mr. White, may you question the witness? Right now, is it possible to prove? I want to check something, just re... Wait a minute. That picture, we saw that the person outside of the car well was on fire. Take a look at the both of them. She no, said she, she said she jumped the car. How can she have long <laughs> hair if she didn't? 
because she so could grow back. Yeah, grow back. Yeah. Okay. I, it's possible. But is it possible to grow that long hair within a year? Uh, well, she could. She can use a wig. Yeah. Or wake for another week. I don't know. Of course, she can have highlights that make that hair longer. That Dr. Gray did, in fact, divert Mr. Miney's sisters. Yeah, which means I have to work this from the other angle. <sighs> okay. In a one and a two, then we press. She was totally tired, you mean exhausted? Like she had to talk with the police and like was being investigated like every day. It was like a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder then that the car accident happened. Huh? Press for harder. So then, why did you ask to switch places? Oh, like, what are you talking about? I mean, switch drivers. Your sister was so tired, then why shouldn't you have switched with her? True, true. No, but like, I don't have a driver's license. But she had a license. License photo. Yeah. This is news to me. I was not aware I didn't have your license, Miss Mighty. Hmm, Miss Mighty, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, anyway. Was like totally pooped too. I felt like asleep in the passenger <sighs> seat. Hmm. And like the night of the accident, my sister was talking. She has a driver's license. There was a line I was searching for. <laughs> Objection! Miss Miney, that was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? You know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver license. What's the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Um, uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I had like a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Hardy, or the guy pretended to be him anyway, said so. What are you talking about? That pathetic fake clinic director? Yes, that perfect fake clinic director. And how did he... Ah! No one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver license? Like last November. What? November? The accident happened last May. There's a half year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix White. What in the. Ooh. That's what happened, Mr. Wright. In the time of the accident, his money didn't. Not have a driver license. Uh, I don't want to be a party cry, pooper, but uh, is that I'm not? Will accommodate. I don't want to be a party pooper, but if I may, doesn't a driver license has an expiration date? Yeah. yeah. So if you cross exam the ex expiration date of the driver license, it shows it will show when. When you achieve, when it, you receive it, yes, yes, of course, that's why. That's bullshit. 
Anyway, without a dri license, the witness, the sister wouldn't have switched drivers. I mean, I'm glad you got it, but... Like, even if I had my license? I mean, I didn't think my sis would like, let me drive. Hmm. Ugh. Just don't stand there, hmm, yourself. Thank you too, mm -hmm. Maya. With the whip and the pain and the yow! Miss Mining, why do you think you would have been now to drive anyway? Yeah, and um, that's because... I think this way you called for a further detailed testimony. Miss Mining, if you please. Yeah, like, how annoying. <laughs> like, sorry that I mean to be mean, but you don't mean meanie. Here we go again. Like around that I was like really getting close to getting my license. My sister was like this totally big fan of course like Valley Valentine. She like she had begun this really shiny bright like sports car. She like would say things like no way I'm letting a new drive my car. So like that's why I ended up in the passenger seat tonight too. Hmm. I see a bright red, red car of for sports. Now then, the defendant may question the witness. Hmm. I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but. It was a new car? Yeah! He had like just gone in it, it was like from the UK. Um, the UK? Were, that, were those her boyfriend's initials? And it was really special model? Did it waited for a year for it to arrive? Yes, her love for, of cars will be obvious. Next topic. I really don't know uh, anything about cars, but I had a feeling this one was bound to come up. Your Honor, yes. Please have the witness on uh, what she said to her testimony. You mean the part about the being a special imported car? Yes. Sheesh. Well, you like cars that much then? That's not my point. To be honest, I don't know about this point is either. Is Mighty, if you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. My sis' new car was like a totally special model from England. is relevant but Miss Money do you remember this article? Huh? It's an article about the accent. You said this in it, but I opened the right door and it's like he got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like why are you suddenly asking me about it? Oh yes. On the right side is um the steering wheel. <laughs> yep, 
You got your point. I was kind of getting about the America, uh, the England driving way. England's cars are supposed to have the steering wheels on the right, not the left. Good mm -hmm. point, Yara. Duh. Everybody knows that. I kind of forgot, to be honest. I was like, wait, I'm missing something. Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat? Left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver is on the left side. That will be if you're on an American car, but it's the, it will be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side will have been on the left side. <sighs> What do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you had a skate sitting the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, that means you were in the driver's seat. <laughs> order! Order in the court! Order! Order! order. Mr. Fudix Rice is babbling nonsense again! And he said the person who was driving in her older sister, Mini Miney. Yeah, look at the article, bitch. Mm -hmm. Look at the hard way, woman. That's what Ini said. Yes, but that's where her story falls apart. Someone of all of us made a big error in the assum assumptions. Oh, next. It looks like you have finally found the real root at this murder. If you connect all the dots, th there can be only one answer. I'd like to ask the court to a question. Eeny or Miney? Who was really driving the night? Mimi. She's Mimi. The answer is the one, one person who had her driver license, Mini Miney. After all, that mask makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you said the witness, Mini Miney, was the one is in the driver's seat. Which leads to us to the next question. The, 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 the next. Who is the person standing in the witness stand right now? Mimi. Ugh. What sort of idiotic laugh is this? Brunix White. <laughs> this is witness name. This witness name is. I will tell you what her real her, her name it really is. The witness real na name is. Mimi. Mini Miney, that is your real name. All of this fool is durable. That, that, and how do you explain her appearance? This witness has several facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgery used a picture. Basical discussion surgery? This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. Ooh. But me, Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that's not what the case. The, 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 the body thing found at the crash site? That was the body of the real Eeny Meeny. Miney. Miney, sorry. Isn't that right, right Meeny Miney? Uh, ah. Told ya. The hair was way too long for that. Yeah. 
that car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eeny Miney. Her sister Mini then stole her face and was reborn as Eeny. With this, they officially erased Mini Miney from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can see why Mini had to kill Dr. Brain. What do you mean? Oh! What are you meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Firstly, the spirit medium is nurse of the dead in the crash Mini Miney. However, that wouldn't be have been possible because Mini Miney was still in fact alive. <laughs> in that fact, it will be discovered that the channeling has been conducted. So the witness had to stop fr that from happening at all costs. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that why you were saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had a misfortune of cons consulting the witness about connecting with the dead. Communicating. Communicating, sorry. In the end, his f fate was sealed. Well, Miss Aini or Miss I say, I mean Miss Von Karma. What well, did you say my name just now? <gasps> <gasps> Looks like I've been unmasked. Witness? That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mini Miney. What? What doctor? He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mini too. So close. But but why? Why should you go so far as throwing your throw away yourself? To become your own sister. <laughs> I think I understand why. Mini Mani wanted no. her old self to disappear because of this. That's that's about a man who malpractice innocent. Dr. K was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Eeny Miney. Uh, Miney. 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 Ah, uh, yeah, never mind. Eeny Miney. Eeny Miney. Miney Miney. Uh, too much Inie of tongue tracer. That's right, the person standing before us today. And a few weeks after the mishap. Mini Miney had a car accident, which. In which she had lost her younger sister. The, the timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients died in the accident. Her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I find a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident, her sister and her own face. That was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If he only hadn't thought of that challenging mumbo jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo? Becoming Eni has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling vehicle, I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there's uh, still a few on 
solve riddles here, such as why did Miss Miney choose to go to a complicated plan, and why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help to execute it? Because one thing has to be made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant Maya Fay. This, this is preposterous. I am perfect. Me, Franziska von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss von Karma. How about you? <laughs> oh, that burn! <laughs> Yeah. It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. No! <laughs> Whoa! Somebody take the weapon away! <laughs> and temper, no temper. Oh my god, I know my god! Uh. <laughs> Phoenix, hang in there! Phoenix! Phoenix! The court is a fraud! A sham! <laughs> <laughs> she knocked us out! Punk! No, no. What's wrong with her? I don't know. It looks like it was some time Mr. Wise regained consciousness. So I will go ahead and produce this the fair verdict. Not guilty! Yush! <laughs> That's all. This court is adjourned. Yay, she uh. won. June 22, 330 30 p.m. This record, defendant lobby number three. Congratulations, Maya. Sis? Aww. Aww. Good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis, sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis, in my dream I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm, there's still... Oh, wait. <laughs> I just want to say... Mm, there's a, one thing I didn't quite get. Oh? Uh, what's that? What would have happened if Minnie hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney has planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then you and Lotta would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Fey who had just committed a murder. She had a plan down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congratulations, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out on another gem. Well, you know. But I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. I am fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister and now my aunt. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why wouldn't she help Minnie Miney with a plan like that? I just, I just don't understand it, Nick. Well, uh, it's over. Why don't you, wh why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan held what her plan was. <sighs> mm. I am puzzling mm. about that factor. I can't see it, why? Oh wait, I don't see. Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into the Korea village. 
And that person will be you, Maya. But if you weren't there, the main family blocks of the line will disappear, and that will mean then. Then branch family, my aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual power was is too weak. Next person will be Pearls. Ah. Uh -huh. Everything was done for her sake. It was all so that Pearls could become the next master. Yeah, I can see that. And Maya say something just now. I think that she was saying. I thought so. Mm. Hidden time unknown. Detention center, solitary convention cell 13. 13. My precious pearl. You're the only one suitable to be the master of Korean, dear child. I sacrifice it all, all for you. I help that brainless nurse carry out her murder. And cooperated with that with happy persecutor. It was all to the unseat that annoying witness main family girl. That Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest pill. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Ooh. Damn. The next mission. Oh. Episode three. I'm gonna Turn check what's. Up. Yeah, Turn this is the baby. one. Somebody's very hyped about. Yeah. I just. One should... person can speak. Hey, bro, you're gonna that. get a lot of voices if you want. Yeah, I, I want the pink person. <laughs> Don't tell yet. Don't tell. Pink, 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 Yeah, I'm still here. What's going I'm still here. I'm still watching. But yeah, guys, this is sadly it for now. This is where we're gonna end off, and hopefully see you next week. This mission went, or this case went really weird, really awkward. But we finally did it. We finally found the real person that killed Dr. Tony Gree. Yay. So yeah. This is sadly it for all for now, guys. If you like the content so far, feel free to leave a follow, a com comment below, or a subscribe. Your choice of matter. You can also go to deviantr.com slash Mega Man Dragonoid or just to Dr. Chester the First or Shia slash Oh, it wasn't a sash. Uh, no, Zero the Hedgehog. No, oh, there you go. For uh, our, you can see our art. You can also go to twitch.tv slash Mega Man Dragonoid or just Parodies Minor and you can see our streams if we'll be streaming, of course. And that's sadly it for now. Have a nice day. Have a nice week. Peace, my Dragonites. Peace.